Hi, my name is Andy Goldstein, and today I'm going to demonstrate a prototype of CEL-based conversion between different API versions in KCP. What I have on the screen right now is a sample custom resource, if you will, called Widget. And you'll notice that its spec has two fields, first name and last name. This is also version one of my API. And maybe I decide that I actually want to have a field called name that's underneath spec, and that I want to have spec.name.first and spec.name.last. With custom resource definitions, the only real way that you can convert that is with a webhook to do the conversion. But we don't have support for uh, built-in service-based webhooks or even any conversion webhooks for CRDs in KCP. So let's take a look at what I've done to enable this using CEL. This is the API resource schema for my widget type. This is like a custom resource definition, but it's a KCP extension that allows us to publish APIs from one workspace and have other users consume them from other workspaces. It looks very much like a custom resource definition. Uh, one thing to note, however, is there is the addition at the bottom of this conversion section. So what I have here are rules that I'm using to convert between what I'm calling a hub version, which is B1, and any other versions that I have. In this case, I only have one, which is B2. So to go from the hub version, V1, to version V2, if we wanted to set spec.name.firstName, we would look at the hub version and look at self, which is the hub version, go to its spec and then grab the first name field. So we're taking spec.firstName and putting, in, putting it into spec.name.firstName. Similarly, we'll do the same thing with last name. And if we need to convert to uh, the other direction where we're going from V2, which is not the hub version, to V1, which is the hub version, we will go from uh, spec. or sorry, we will go to spec.firstName, which is the hub representation, from the field spec.name.firstName in V2. So what does this look like in practice? Well, I have uh, in my other tab here, I have KCP up and running. You'll see the shard is ready. So if I go here back to my terminal, I can go ahead and apply the conversion file, which has the API resource schema, the API export, and an API binding so that everything is usable within this same workspace. And then the next thing I can do is I can create a widget. And uh, the example that I showed was for V1. So if I apply my widget, we can see that that was created. Now, if we get this and we look at the uh, YAML for the widget that I just created, you'll notice that this is, ah, sorry, you'll notice that this is V2. And you'll notice that it has spec.name.firstName and dot last name. But that's interesting. I didn't have a conversion webhook or anything like that. So let's let's take a look again at the uh, resource schema specification. One thing I didn't mention earlier is that v1 for our version is the storage version. So in etcd, everything is stored as v1. So to show that, if I run etcd control, I can find my widget here. And then what I can do is take, let me get this value correctly here. So we will take that and do, 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 put it at the end. And you'll see coming out of etcd, the uh, API version that's stored is uh, v1, and the spec has first name and last name. But again, just to show the um, cube control, or sorry, yeah, the, the uh, version from the server is v2, 
with name uh, as a uh, and as a spec field that has first name and last name as uh, subfields. So that's it for the initial demo for CEL based conversion in KCP. This is just a prototype right now. We'll be fleshing it out and hopefully adding it to the repository very soon. Thanks for watching.